right, we're running the High Flyer XL with the D125 motor. And a couple interesting notes on this one. I'm running the 12-inch parachute, but I'm also running I'm running both altimeters, the Jolly Logic 2 and the Flight Sketch Mini. But for fun, I also threw a little parachute guy in there. So at Apogee, when it ejects, the parachuter will descend under canopy hopefully and it's a bit windy so I suspect I'm going to be in for quite a hike to find him um, but I also have the chute release set for 200 feet on the main chute so hopefully we had a lot of stuff going on here some testing of some new ideas and uh, we'll have some fun so let me check the skies the skies are clear it is windy out of the north, but uh, that's okay because the downrange is clear. We are going in five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Rockets down, and there's our little parachute. He's drifting. And he's down. All right. Okay, this has happened before. It looks like it got hung up at the 139 foot mark. So, as we get close to the rocket, we'll obviously uh, pick up the signal and get the actual apogee. Uh, one thing to note, because the wind, the rocket did arc over into the wind. So, instead of coasting upward, it was more or less in a ballistic downward trajectory. And even though the altimeter the shoe release was set for 200 feet. It probably ejected at less than that. So by the time it ejected, it already it already released and let the chute open up, which was fine. Uh, I did get a little nervous there as it was coming in ballistic. Uh, the five second delay was a little much, but had it coasted straight up with no wind, five seconds would have been perfect. But uh, this wind, again, like I said, it made it arc over. But uh, I see the rocket out there laying, laying stretched out, looks good. And sure enough, there we go. 246 feet. Yeah, I knew once I get closer to the rocket, we'd get a, a signal. So, wow, look at it just all stretched out there. Good flight. Okay, we've retrieved the rocket. Now we're heading out to get the... Uh, the astronaut, who for whatever reason decided that he would abort the mission and eject himself from the rocket, which after watching that uh, ballistic trajectory down toward the ground, I'd say that abort was probably a good option. So he made the right decision. But uh, fortunately for us, the rocket did eventually deploy. Right about that time, he was thinking it's time to get out of here. And but he had a nice, uh, nice descent under canopy. I was able to track it with the camera, which was better than I thought I'd be able to do, actually. Um, I guess because it didn't land or didn't deploy at such a high altitude, it wasn't as hard to track it. But you know, of all things, he landed right there in the bush. <laughs> so he's just hanging there waiting for me to pick him up. Good flight, buddy.
four, three, two, one. Okay, we're flying the Citation Patriot on a C63, running both altimeters and the 18 inch parachute this time. And I've also got the little paratrooper in there also. So hopefully I don't have too much jammed into the body tube and we'll have a good deployment at the top. The winds have died down a little bit since the last flight, not a whole lot, but uh, I've got the rocket aimed more straight up. Hopefully that way it won't arc over at the top and have a long uh, ballistic descent. <laughs> <laughs> like the last one so uh, with that we are going in five four three two one stand by stand by checking the skies I heard an airplane nothing in sight okay we are continuing on let me check my my camera Okay, we're still rolling. Okay, we are going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh no, no. Oh, we lost it. Oh no. That's what I was afraid of. We had way too much stuff jammed in there. Oh boy. My altimeters were both wrapped in uh, protective pouches, so hopefully that may have shielded them from complete destruction. Uh, there's there's obvious damage there. It's like the fin ripped off. At least one fin. Uh, two fins, actually. I don't see. Oh, there it is. Oh no, that's too bad. Yeah, the front of the the front got all scrunched in. Ah, oh, it's too bad. Hmm. Okay, running the Saturn V on a C63, running both altimeters, and this has a another little mini uh, 
paratrooper on board. So we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully we won't get uh, jammed up on deployment in the tube, so. Okay, skies are clear. I've got the rocket aimed more in a straight vertical trajectory. Hopefully that'll help with the, uh, the flight path. So with that, we are going in five, four, three, two, one. All right, great deployment, great flight. Look at that. All right, and then there's a little guy. Ha, perfect, that was awesome. Okay, looked like we hit a apogee of 125. There we go. And the rocket landed not too far away. You kind of saw it bounce on that hard rock, which wasn't pleasant to to see or hear. Um, let's see here. Looks like we broke the tip off the uh, the capsule. It's it's laying around here somewhere, no doubt. It couldn't have gone too far. Uh, how are the fins doing? I've had trouble with the fins in the past. Looks like all fins are in shape, so that's good. Oh, there it is. There's our little our little tip. So. All in all, that's not a, a big deal. So, great flight. That was fun to watch. Okay, flying the Spirit on a C-6-3. Winds have calmed down just a tad, which is good. Uh, we're still aiming straight up. Skies are clear, cameras are rolling, running both altimeters. And we have a little paratrooper on board this one as well, so a little astronaut might uh, might survive this one if he ejects it well, so. All right, here we go. We're launching in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, looks like we lost maybe a nose cone. Okay, there's the nose cone. Okay, I'll get that later. Okay, we got the, the rocket and the little paratrooper coming down. Something's smoking pretty good back there. Sorry about the sun. Okay, the smoke is out. The little paratrooper's still going. The rocket's coming down under a nice slow descent. Uh, hopefully our altimeters are still attached. Okay, looks like the, the little paratrooper, he's down first. Okay, we'll find him later. The rocket's not far behind. Okay, looks like it's right in front of that V in the mountain there to the left of the peak. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Okay, I think the altimeter hung up on us again because it's showing 209 feet. But it also shows that as the current altitude, so we're gonna, we're gonna exceed 209, I'm pretty sure, once we get close. So this is going to be an adventure, finding the little paratrooper and the rocket. The nose cone, like I said, it landed back by the pad. We'll retrieve it later. But I want to focus on the rocket and the paratrooper and also, hopefully, 
the uh, altimeters are still attached to the parachute clip, which is what I clipped them to. Actually, not the parachute clip, the uh, shock cord. All right, let's see. Still not getting a reading on my app. I'm thinking we're gonna find the rocket without too much trouble. It's the astronaut we're gonna have trouble finding. There's the rocket. Okay, cool. We found the rocket. And yep, sure enough, once we get within distance, look at that. 364. Well, we know it made a nice soft landing. And I see both altimeters, so that's a relief. That's a huge relief. They're both sitting there hanging. So they never even touched the ground. Okay, I see what happened. Our nose cone, the insert, broke right out of the, uh, the cone, so that'll have to be re-cemented. That's interesting, wonder why that happened. But the rocket looks good, the chute looks good. Awesome, now we gotta go search for the, the little astronaut. Okay, heading back to the vehicle from the landing of the rocket, which was oh, about 50 yards that way while I'm walking by this little open area. And lo and behold, look what I see sitting over here. But our little astronaut, and not only folks did he survive, but he's on his feet. He is standing proud and tall, proud to be an American on this Veterans Day. God bless y'all, thanks for watching. We salute him.